Omnitronics, and you're watching Redline, your source for adventurous stories throughout the verse. Today's segment has us crossing some serious boundaries with a group of miners. No, I'm not talking about committing a felony. I'm talking about riding shotgun with some of the most skilled mineral harvesting technicians in Stanton. Men and women, in today's case mostly men, who venture out beyond the armistice zones in search of their next big load. Join me <laughs> as I cross the streams with a care mining and reclamation to find and suck some of the hardest rock in the verse. I love the innuendo. After picking up a bottle of industrial strength gear lube, which was highly encouraged for some reason, I linked up with one of the leaders of Akira Mining and Reclamation to dig in a bit more on their mission for the day. So, what's on the agenda for today? Well, Nate, we've got two primary objectives today. First, we've been asked by a client to conduct a <laughs> mineral survey of a client claim over on Lyria. Second, we've got a mold that just came out of its midlife overhaul. So we're using this as an opportunity to conduct a post-maintenance checkout prior to <laughs> return to full service. What kind of people make for a good fit here in a care? I think anyone would tell you that a key part of being a member of the AMR team is a sense of camaraderie with your fellow miners. We're out for extended periods of time, sometimes <laughs> weeks. It's very intimate, close quarters throughout that time. So you find the people that thrive here at a care are the ones that come to the company with an appreciation and admiration for their fellow workers. By the way, uh, brought some extra lube. You got anything special? <laughs> uh, we'll find a place to stick it. We always do. <laughs> Before embarking, it was important that I received my mandatory safety brief from the Unit Safety Augmentation Officer, or SAS. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Don't be. Happens all the time around here. <laughs> By the way, I'm a big fan. <laughs> I'm here for my safety brief. Well, you found your man. It's real simple. We like to use the acronym SHAFT. S for safety first. H for hot loop, making sure our gears are always greased. A is for always lube. F is for freshly lubed. And T is for making sure there's always lube. But never mind. It doesn't have to make sense. Just remember the acronym SHAFT. Say it with me now. After the brief, I was asked to shave my entire body and apply a light layer of lube to ensure I was safe in the event things heated up. Luckily, some of the guys helped me out, so we were able to launch on time and head out to Lyria for some hardcore drilling activities. <coughs> uh. Oh, shit. The hell are they doing? Oh, we like to see how many men we can fit in that shower. It's an old tradition. You don't say. <laughs> in fact, where's that lube you brought? We're looking to beat our record. Of What's up, Wise? Welcome to the street, bro. You can fit 17 dudes in that thing? I mean, getting grown men in an out of tight space is part of the job, Nate. Watch and learn. Oh, boy. As the day wore on, we drilled and sucked enough rock to fill an entire refinery. It was pretty obvious these guys knew what they were doing. But they didn't rub it in, despite the excess lube that covered our worn and able bodies. <laughs> One of the mole captains let me try out the Lancet laser system, which was about ten times more powerful than any I'd What's ever used before. Boy, I've never used something quite this big before. Most boys have it. This is a man's job, if you know what I mean. I'd say. Careful now. Don't talk it too hard or you'll blow out your load early. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Suddenly disinterested and strangely sleepy, to be honest. <laughs> so, how hot does your laser? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. My laser gets hot enough to do the job. 
Have you ever What's up, Jamma? You won a ten dollar Amazon gift card, by the way, buddy. A lot of people say you should What's up, Execute? Streams, but when you cross the streams, magical oh. stuff happens. Oh my god. What's the deepest you've ever penetrated something? <laughs> no, it depends. Are we talking about rocks or beings? I can't say human beings. You know, I don't just narrow that oh. spectrum. Awesome, you know, Wazzy. Hmm. <laughs> As things wrapped up, I decided to spend the night with these hardworking band of brothers. Their chiseled bodies like rocks themselves, yearning to be cracked open and sucked behind the closed doors of their secret world. Where the camaraderie oh penetrated deeply, the gears were always greased, and every load, no matter how big or small, was a treasure. Oh. That concludes this episode Ooh. of Redline. If you've got something adventurous to share, oh reach out via the PubNet link below, and you just might see it here. Until next time, this is Natronics, over and out. Uh. Dude, this is, you're welcome, Jim. I'm, I'm glad Pepe picked you, dude. Listen, we're giving away some Amazon gift cards on our 100th episode of DG in the Morning here. We've been doing this for two years, and I'm telling you, I've had the greatest experience of my life getting to know all of you and meeting new people, and it's just, it's it's a pleasure helping out content creators and promoting uh, people's work that definitely need it, and this is one of them here. Over at EE Studios, his name's Natronic, super nice dude, where's the aviators, gotta respect that, and he also made a thank you video for us numerous times, helping him out. Listen, go over there, like like his stuff uh, only 500 views on this shit and and that's a shame this is good shit this is better than anything i've ever seen like really this is one of my favorite series right now besides uh emergence which is mod 81's uh machinima right now and this transcends star citizen man this is just really great machinima just like mod 81 you. thank you jamma jamma what are you doing i love you jamma jamma you're awesome dude <laughs> Jim wins a ten dollar gift card and he gives out five subs, man. It's, that's the people here, man. The people here are amazing. They just give it right back. We keep giving it out. They keep giving. This is what I love about DG three sixty, man. We're doing great here, and it's just a pleasure, man. I absolutely love to be streaming and being here. It's like Thursdays and Fridays are my favorite day. It's like a therapy session, man. It's like a therapy session. All right, <laughs> go over, please go over to Natronics' channel, uh, EE Studios. I will put the link down below if you're watching this on YouTube on the on the highlight. And, and just go over there and give him some love. The guy deserves so much more credit. He really, really does. It's I could not imagine not having red line. <laughs> like, like I would like now I'm on I, what episode are we on? Fifth episode. He's cranking these out, man. And he needs much more love to continue this work. There's so much like look at look at all this. Look at all the work right here. You know? Like look at the credits. Like it's crazy. Like the amount of the amount of hours and time and game time and editing and I mean like the writing is phenomenal. The writing is like spot on. Just spot on.